ba founders bo ba philosopher aba tandi ka uchi ba ite dembeli obuntu human rights ba philosopher zabo ombali ba mita Thomas Hobbes Thomas Hobbes ya ina philosophy nga akiriza mu order of the constitution oba ba ita social contract a social contract we are social as human beings yeah, socializing na tuli wamu kubigenderwa almost ebifana gana nenga ate singa tuleke bwao nga buliomba mulekede endoza yi twinzo maiza nga twebye na twekubye na buliomwa nyiziza munne ku lokubanga wabao competition wabao desires wabao feelings wabao obwagazi wabao abantu abagala ebili excess wabao mulugube omululu ngabola ba enchima bozikasukira amembu kulo kubanga enchima bezibera mu kibira obe bisole bibera mu kibira tebina constitution tebina binding laws tebina mateka gabigatawam obakwe ko joke of government the, the, the binding laws that controls their excesses so um sajjo yo philosopher yavayunga proposing anti human rights wa edembe lyo buntu liri mu butonde katonda nga yali tonda na buli muntu they are naturally given they are inalienable rights ziri given oba inborn katonda yatutonda ne democracy katonda yatutonda na towards vita freedoms ne liberties which combine mm, to form the human rights ati is a human right says obo muntu ayagala okuzifuna okusinzira ku Thomas Hobbes ye yalabanga abantu singa basigala mu stage eri ya jibaita Gaza hunter society nga bali ngange ebisoro bagena ne balonda ronda kubanga bogena mu byalo tuchajira be mbere eyo abagenda ne balonda emiyembe ne bali abana basiba ku meeting abano ga fene you know such a, a wild kind of living eh mm-hmm. and to just sang omwana yagenze nali nyimi tijyo kuchale yo jiba mukwate anti ya bifene wa gundi so going far back in the ancient people used to live ngati bali na boundaries you understand mm-hmm. they used to live ngabye bakola ngati kuli kaba kuba ku nsoro boto so this man came up with an idea of a social contract a social contract is that contract or that that binds people to a common a common understanding whereby omuntu asobola kosse demberye nenga ina wakoma obuta kisusa kunyigiriza balala you understand nti omuntu amanya nti nyina katugeze bine byo bukozi nyina contract mukama wanga akoma wano nange akoma wano wadenga nyine dembe bwemanja gadde okumususa ne munyigiriza echa warabu che bakola akwata na nyigiriza omwana na susawo we hali komi omwana nage na mukunyigirizibwa atenga abada ina wa ino koma mukumudumira kola nga ina okubako ne komo so the right set of laws ezija ne ziba proposed mwe mwali neno constitution ye gwanga nti abanansi bali ba kufugibwa nga bafugibwa ku mukole ya mateka kye baita rule of law a set of given laws that bring people okubera awamu basobola okubera nga bakola chi nga be kugira oku oku infringing on each other buli omo kuyingirira monne for instance singa baleka abantu ne babera nga bagamba anti okay naturally oyina right yo ku having a sex oyina right yo kulia buli choya gadde you have a right to eat you have a right to sex you have a right to talk you have a right to to to, to walk to to do anything people we would we, we could register more accidents in a day because people have rights to walk so they would even walk and cross the road in any in any way they want because they have a right to but because there is a set of laws guided by the constitution about trafficking road trafficking so the road traffic will tell you the traffic rules will begin guiding you how to cross the road how you should drive 
your car, even if it is your property, how you should drive it, not excessively, such that you can protect lives of others and rights of others. You get it? So a social contract is a set of rules that come up to guide these natural rights, eh? the state of nature in which we were created. That state of nature or the natural law that we were created with as human beings to to be free. To be free of what you need to have Yes, that is true. We are making this. You need them to be able to have You need them to be able to have Would it be okay for anyone? O kuva yu na abu kila abu kizom chala nam nam raping. Is it right? It is not lawful. Ela chime nyama teka. O muntu o lo kuva yafu nye feelingsi. Ayagala kuwa vinga sexy. Gage na abu kila abu kizom muntu. No, amateka gamu kugira. Sa agamateka gamu kugira o kugenda excess. Songa taba daso bora. Bagaita social contract, which is the constitution. For instance, the constitution of Uganda today. Oh, these are international human rights which are, are guarded and enshrined in that book called the rules of law which is the constitution you understand so looking at migrant workers of uganda do they have any set of law that governs their their behaviors that governs their their uh, social so socialization or societies is there any i mean when you look at migrant worker societies of uganda are they governed by any set of law? Are there any any laws that compel them to behave in a good way that anyone would wish? behaving. Do you have any way to check them in line to put them to order? Apart from their contracts, I mean, in terms of these excesses we say today, case reporting, abusing people on social media, coming out talking anyhow. Do you have a set of law? that you know these laws are the ones binding or related to their welfare or related to ABCD or they have been left like that just like ngabe chali badde mu mirembe jedda nti abantu ne babale kawo ngati wali mateka gonnaga bakugira sitigiza abantu andi badde nga bakole nsubi kubanaabwe zizi nsubi zola bambanku bacheyo ze bali mukola kubanaabwe ze bali mukola kubama company ze bali mukukola kubuli muntu yena go manyi Atenga bazukola bobe kwa santi, they have a right. But their rights now infringe on other people's what? Rights in the mix. Poja laba reporting, engage laba reporting them, abala laba kuonjera, abala yesi bo gerebi tufu, abala tenema ina cha ina kuongera, abala tenema indirwa ina kuwaba. Oshigera, kati ateche chobu tama yante chiba jisa kumo sango. You find them, most of them, teba maina chichiche ba ina kuripoting. Others, they just abuse. Because there is no social social contract, the rules that they, they, they bind to. But here in my grant workers' voice, we have a social contract whereby when people come to my grant workers' voice network association, they are told to they come to register as members, subscribing, comparing themselves to a social contract. So Thomas Hobbes was trying to, to, to teach us a principle of responsibility, having a sense of belonging, relinquishing some of your, your powers to some kind of administration, to some kind of authority, which authority will always be in position to give you the services you deserve in general, in commonality, common services as what? You see, uh, when we, we, we get subordinate to, to government and then pay taxes, eh? government in return, makes for us, uh, gives us services like uh, building roads, you understand? Uh, making sure uh, that th there are more public structures put in place, making sure the country develops on our taxes as we get subordinate. You know, by paying tax means civilization. It comes when you compare people to, 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 to to submit, to show their total will, their total submission to order. But in migrant workers, it's not there because there is no level, the levels of civility is there are zero. 
for the fact that mm. no company no company wishes to even compel these workers to have some level or minimum levels of civilization which come by owning the process having a sense of responsibility paying taxes like a government telling us to pay taxes it means they want us to get civilized these are ways of civilizing a nation by comparing the citizens to pay tax to belong because when you pay tax the next day you won't dig the road you won't destroy the road you won't destroy a government structure because you will feel party to that very structure you want to break a certain structure of, uh, of government because you pay tax to that but the migrant workers don't pay anything to this thing we call welfare and rights protection therefore they just talk anyhow they just want to damage anyone including their companies you don't you see because they don't feel having a ownership in it they feel like it is just given to them therefore they can spoil it they can receive it in any way they don't feel party you get that so a sense of responsibility comes by that kind of order because when we talk of human rights human rights origin begin from that social contract the people who invented the constitution were targeting to protect human rights because the constitution is supposed to protect laws i mean to bring laws i, 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 I mean this constitution brings laws that protect human rights you know in exchange with the sovereign power the sovereign authority that we give some of these powers which is government or the state the executive it is given these powers to always use the money to plan and build the nation and also make sure they protect the citizens that's the role we give them by the social contract we sign by we electing our mps to go and legislate in parliament i mean that one i mean if uganda migrant workers had representatives known to always represent them into their issues we wouldn't be having alarm on social media but because there is no redress to that they have been left there without any single representation like we have the mps representing our constituencies in parliament thus we keeping comfortable knowing that once they represent us they will come to table to bring out good laws good policies that can supervise and protect our taxes that can bring us development that can protect our country our role you know as citizens remains to watch and get submissive to the process of taxes get submissive to what government requires us similarly to migrant workers if there is that kind of arrangement to make them responsible because right now they cannot avoid being migrant workers they feel they should go you find it others because they feel they should they should be i mean they should they feel entitlement of being ugandans they cannot go anywhere to other countries in terms of uganda for instance our entitlement of we being ugandans we cannot go anywhere even when you migrate and go to saudi arabia when you get challenges the first thing i want to go back to uganda so uganda becomes your entitlement you feel you can't go anywhere therefore if you can't go anywhere then don't spoil the image of the place you want to stay for the next 100 years you understand you don't spoil that image when you are in uganda behave well don't destroy it will give you a heart not to be uh, destructive over government property because you also want to stay in uganda in a better uganda you get it but if there was not that kind that sort of a, a constitution or a social contract a, an order an ordinance for us to to follow for us to always know that there is a law there's a law here there's a law here and there if i do this they will catch me if i do you avoid theft you avoid many 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 issues or bad behaviors because of the law which law that 
comes from the power of government that was vested into the sovereignty because as they protect the sovereignty that authority the supreme authority within a state you find that this this country will always uh be in position to protect its nationals because the nationals will be obeying its laws and which laws that were relinquished i mean which rights that were relinquished or given up to government by these very people take it except lunch of any lunch in to go in a chagal of funa or back with your question to why you banansu of a girl of fun at them be baba came when never be a car can you in the singer baba they can never watch about it at them be never a couple of me equal the chaya gala this is where we go excess which would it but you know i'm going to that look in your money now you may call a bia gala a lot of bad behaviors even the death would be rampant wanga sinamba njaga de kuta now in kuta tini wataba wanga ambako because we have freedom you understand in the name of freedom so it gets too much now the social contract comes in the rules they come in to regulate you to minimize that when you kill be careful you are free to get to, to get excited but if you kill someone you will also face so do we have such sets of law among migrant workers Oh, they are just there, my Mwanjala. Anyone can take advantage of. So if we don't have such, do you expect this industry to change? No. Not at all. Because migrant workers do not belong anywhere. They only belong to their companies, which companies also send them off on a profit. You don't expect them to mind much. Therefore, if we cannot avoid going to these Arabs, we, we, we stand the test of time then to stand the solidarity, to be solidars into this and try to avoid the possible mistakes. Migrant workers must get organized by the time they leave Uganda, when they are all, are all uh, uh, compelled, bound to the same rules, you know? and obligations and these obligations and rules must be stipulated clearly such that the workers themselves know if where they make mistakes where they must be careful and not to make a mistake i hope i made a point